Hey folks, more fun with VCAs today in our video. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to share my most recent purchase with you. It's the VCAs module from Super Synthesis. Um, it's a quad VCA with sliders for the input signal level. And uh, it has this cool logo that reminds me of Aperture Science from the video game Portal. And it has a very handy uh, signal inversion for the input signal. The, these buttons latch and they glow, and it's a really pretty glow. And uh, the signal inversion is what inspired today's video. And that's exactly how we're going to use it. So uh, we're going to we're going to talk about achieving uh, an audio ducking effect that is most commonly associated with uh, sidechain compression. But as a disclaimer, we're not going to build a compressor with our modules, and uh, we're going to achieve the ducking effect with an envelope from Maths. Um, so to start, I'm just going to take an audio signal into our VCA and output it to our mixer. And uh, now the VCA is just acting as a mixer. We can use the slider to control the level of our audio signal. Um, let's take this envelope from the maths, which is being triggered by a sequencer and we will plug it into the CV input of this channel. And uh, this isn't going to achieve what we want. This is just typical VCA usage, where the VCA is closed, so no audio is passing through, and then the control voltage from our envelope is opening the amplifier and letting the audio through. It's just the typical way that we'd use a VCA. So. To achieve that ducking effect, uh, let's think about like the key ingredients there is that, uh, you know, what we were just doing is almost more like a plucking effect. The ducking effect, we actually want the audio to be at like its, at its highest level, and then we want the envelope to uh, apply negatively to the audio signal. And this module makes that super easy for us. Because uh, it also accepts control voltages, of course, instead of just audio signals. So, with another channel of VCA, we'll take this envelope and we will plug it into the uh, signal input. And then we'll take the output of this channel and send it into the control voltage input of our audio signal. And this is going to achieve the same exact thing that we had before. The audio is down here as we turn up our uh, control voltage, our envelope. We get the same thing. So now let's turn up the audio like we were talking about. We want the audio at full volume, basically, and we want that envelope to achieve the ducking effect. So there's a uh, full audio. We turn up the envelope, and it's still not doing what we want because the key ingredient is inverting that control voltage. So we'll hit that, and now this slider becomes our intensity control for the amount of ducking. I'm going to turn it all the way up so that you can really hear the effect. Hopefully you can hear that, uh, that effect happening. It's just coming out of speakers and going into the phone microphone. But um, yeah, this slider now becomes our intensity control. So if we turn it down, we just get audio passing through. And as we turn it up, we get that uh, ducking effect. And... Uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I think I'm going to do another video after this, and I'm going to demonstrate this same effect with uh, two other types of VCAs. Um, 
and uh, since we don't have those utilities like the inversion on those other VCAs, we'll use the uh, the utilities from the math. So, uh, yeah, it's a cool effect. I think it's a cool effect when it's separate from, uh, you know, usually you would take like a kick drum, like like this would be the envelope, this would be uh, like a kick drum pounding away and making the audio duck, but I think it's kind of a cool effect to, uh, to use on its own. And you can do it, you know, um, you can use other things other than just the envelope. So, um, yeah, hopefully you got a little something out of this. I am going to uh, stop the video and uh, make another one. <laughs>